Hey everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to give you a week 5 update on our master bedroom makeover. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel again today. Thank you so much for popping in to say hi and to see what DIYs I'm up to this week. This week I'm sharing with you our week 5 update for our master bedroom makeover for the one room challenge. In case you're new here or you haven't heard of this challenge before, this is a challenge put on by callingathome.com. Um, she offers this challenge to guest bloggers and some interior decorators as well to make over one room in the period of six weeks. So we chose to work on our master bedroom. Week one was the plan for the space as well as a mood board. Week two, I installed a gorgeous reclaimed wood ceiling. Week three was the painting and caulking. Week four was putting together all of the accessories. And this week, week five, we hung a really beautiful barn door between our bedroom and our ensuite. So today, let me show you how we hung the door. My husband and I did that together. And I just wanna thank Lee Valley Tools for sending us this really beautiful barn door hardware. This is a really gorgeous track and some wheels with a little bit of a wood accent. And we really love it and think it offers just such a nice accent to our space. Let's get started. This week was just one of those weeks for me and unfortunately I permanently deleted most of the videos I took for this tutorial. So I really hope that you guys can get the gist of what we did here through a mix of some still photos I took and a couple videos that I took on my phone. Let's get started. The hardest part of a barn door installation is to make sure the track on the top of the door is securely fastened into your wall. We were lucky because we have wooden headers behind and on top of all of our doors, so we just bolted the track right into the wooden header. If you're not so lucky, you'll just have to make sure that the holes in your track line up directly with studs in your wall, or just add a piece of trim across the whole entire top of your door and then secure the track onto that. We use some long lag bolts and a drill to secure our track on the door. Next, install the rollers on top of the door. This is pretty easy, just use a drill and some wood screws. We installed our rollers about one inch from each end of the top of our door. Finally, all you gotta do is pop that baby onto the track. The rollers on ours just popped right onto the track and then install some stoppers on the end. Our door already had a hole in it for a knob, so I just had to mount a pull on top of a piece of trim and then I just glued the back of it and screwed it right onto the door. We already had this door and it was an oopsie door from our build so I thought it was a cool way to reuse what we already had. I painted the whole thing with the same white paint as we used for our trim and I think it turned out pretty great. I think this adds a nice detail to this wall between our master and our ensuite and it's also functional as well so we can close it if we want some privacy between the bedroom and the bathroom. Make sure to pop in next week because I am sharing the final reveal of our entire master bedroom makeover and I can't wait to show you. Thank you so much for watching my video today. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments on this DIY, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel to be the first to get my new DIYs. Thank you so much and I will see you all again next week. Bye.